What's cooking guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how we can add natural camera shake to a still video or picture. All right guys, so to do this natural camera shake to like a still video or image, it's so easy. You don't have to add keyframes. You literally don't have to do anything, but just add one simple effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to have our still image or video on our bottom layer. So for me, I have this still video of the couple, the bride and groom kissing, and I want to add camera shake to this because I just don't like a static tripod shot. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go and find another clip that has motion to it. It doesn't matter what kind of clip. It doesn't even have to be from this video. It doesn't have to be a, like for my example, it doesn't have to be from a wedding video. It could be from a football video or some other type of video that has motion to it. So I have some clips over here that I'm gonna go through that just kind of has a little bit of motion to it. I don't want something that has like a lot of movement, like really quick up and down movements, just a little bit of small movements. Something like this. See how there's very little movement, but I am moving. It's like kind of side to side moving, kind of like I'm handheld. And that's the look I'm going for for this camera shake, but I don't want it on this clip. I want it on this other clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this clip and we're going to drag it on top of our still video clip. And I'm just going to shorten it down so it equals this length of this video. And then I'm going to highlight both, right click, and I'm going to nest. And I'm going to call this nest just camera shake nest. And now I'm going to just access my effects panel. I'm going to my editing tab and my effects panel right here. If you don't see that, just go into Windows and hit Effects. And once you're in here, type in Warp and you're gonna grab Warp Stabilizer and put it on top of this nested clip. And then it's gonna start analyzing in background. It'll take a couple minutes, a couple seconds, depending on how fast your computer is. Stabilizing and it's done. So now that my clip is stabilized, what we wanna do is we wanna double click into the camera shake nest and we wanna mute our top layer. It's the little eye right here that says toggle track output. We want to mute that top layer and then we can just exit out of us being inside our nest and now just back outside of our nest and then here we have this little camera shake i turned my still tripod stagnant shot into this kind of little bit of a movement like i'm just having a handheld shot and this is exactly what i'm looking for and like i said this works for images too if you have a still image you could just put the still image on the top and you could just make it move. It's so cool and it's so easy and it's just like a little bit of movement. If you really want more movement, you can find another clip that has a little bit more movement, but you need to be careful because if you have a clip that, like I said before, is really quick up and down movements, you're gonna get that warp stabilizer effect that you don't want, which is literally the outsides of the, your image is gonna literally warp. It's gonna look really weird and it's not gonna look like a handheld camera shake at all. So just be careful when you're grabbing clips if you want more of a shake. But for me, this is exactly what I'm looking for. It's just a little bit of a camera shake. And now I know if I want to have other still images or clips like this, I can always just go into my nest and copy this layer and then paste that on top of another clip that's still and do the same exact process because I now I know this clip works. So that's this simple camera shake that you can put on any of your still images or videos without adding any keyframes, just a simple warp stabilizer effect. I hope you like this video and I hope you'll use this in some of your videos because it is so cool to use. That's all I got for you for this one, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other videos like this. And as always, if you have anything to say, you like this, you don't like this, have any other ideas for me, make sure you leave it in the comments. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.